live on Zach TV One. Who do we finally have in the building? Juicy Fruit. Juicy, what's the word? How you been? I've been, I've been okay. Good, just working? Yeah. Freestyler going fucking crazy? Most definitely. That's what's up. First off, how the fuck did you come up with the name Juicy Fruit? It was a nickname given to me as a child. Like my cheeks, they was like real juicy. I just ran with the name. And it just stuck with you? Yeah. And the way you spelt it is unique. Like I was on your IG. Yep. How you spell it? J-U-C-E-E-F-R-O-O-T. Mm, that's dope. That's dope. And for a motherfucker that's been living under a rock, where you from? I'm from Memphis. Memphis, Tennessee. Wow. Wow. Y'all know y'all had the first 48 down there a while ago or yep. whatever. Is it, still, it. is it still that bad? It's worse. The crime rate is that bad? It's worse. Damn. 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 How do you, you know what I'm saying, like cope with the crime rate in a city like Memphis? Cope? I don't know how I cope. I mean, just most definitely when you in Memphis, you just have to keep moving and stay out of the way. That's the safest, safest thing that you can do. Is just stay out of the way and just, you know, do what you gotta do to maintain point blank period. Okay. And I got kids, so they the main thing that I focus on. Oh, I didn't know that. How many kids? Two. I got that's, two little boys. Oh, that's what's up. Salute, 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 salute. So is it tough being a mother and an artist? Kind of, but not really because, I mean, they they good. And if I make it with my career, then they don't eat. So they'll be, you know, set for life, basically. That's what's up. Is your kids, does that give you a little bit more motivation as an artist? Yes, they do. They give me a lot. Most definitely, most definitely. Now, how long have you actually been rapping? I've been doing music ever since six. Six years old? Six years old, I started out singing in the choir. But when I turned 10, I learned the piano. And from the piano, I used to write songs. And I went to the Mac, started making beats. And from then on, I just started just writing and rapping. What, what's the Mac? What's the Mac computer. Oh, the Mac. Yeah, the like Mac. Garage the Mac. Band. <laughs> okay, okay. Super dope, super dope. Was you ever in a group or was you always a solo artist? I was always solo, but I am within, like, you know, my own little people that I, you know, label, basically. Okay. That's what's up. Yeah. You know, everybody and a mama is talking about the freestyle you did. They got birds, man, attention. Talk about that. Which one was that? That was bad and bougie. Bad and bougie. Mm -hmm. When he reached out to you, what was you thinking? Was you like, get the fuck? This ain't him. Not. It was strange because, like, the, the video was going viral. Everybody was reposting it. And then you had YSL Duke. I think he, uh, he with Young Thug. Uh -huh. And he had messaged and he was like, hit me, so I called him and then he was like, yo, you ready to get this money? And I was like, yeah, of course. So he was like, face call. So he got on the phone, he was like, what's good? And I was like, what's up? And like, no, like, no time later, he just passed the phone to Birdman. I just, <laughs> my heart just dropped and I just got happy as hell. Damn. He told me to get on the first thing smoking to Miami and I took my ass to Miami. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. So you just... Uh was you sitting in the car? Was you in the crib when you was freestyling? Like, how, how, like I want to hear detail. Bad I was sitting in the car when I had did it. Okay. And it's like, like that's what I do. I probably write or I probably hear a beat that I like and I ask my fans, you know, what song should I do this week and all of that and they'll come in. So I took the idea and I got in the car and I just did it. Sitting in the car, it. <laughs> posted it. Yeah. It went viral in what? How many hours? Okay, on Facebook, I want to say that it reached up to like, I don't know, I, I think it, it's it's at a million now. So it had went past like 400,000 400, in the first day. That's but crazy. then, World Star posted it on Instagram and it had over like 500,000 in like two hours. So, That's nuts. Yeah. That's nuts. <laughs> you broke the internet and literally went viral. Birdman reached out to you, come to Miami. What was you thinking? Like, like, just after you hung the phone up, what was you? Th what was going to your head? Like, what? I was just more. I was excited because, like, I had been. We had been through a lot before we got to that point to where he had called. So it was like the wait is over. Like now it's, it's the time to go ahead and start get this. You know, get this stuff rolling. Like finally somebody did. You know, did something and reached out. Damn, Birdman reaching out to you. On the phone with YSL Duke. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Like, who else did you meet when you was down in Miami? Who else did I meet while I was down in Miami? Yeah. Like, it's down with the rich gang, cash money. Uh, 
Not, I can't really think of nobody. I mean, I've seen people, but as far as meeting. Well, well yeah, I should say that. As far as uh, that you came I've seen Nikki, I've seen Lil Wayne. Get the f i seen Gucci. Gucci, man. Uh, who else we seen? They had some folks that love it in hip hop out there. I'm trying to think of who else. Oh, yeah, Tony Braxton. We seen her too. <laughs> we seen her too. She was cool. She real sweet in person. Was they showing love? Or was they acting like. Stuck up. They spoke. Okay. All of them spoke. They never was, you know, too busy to do anything. Okay, that's super dope. That's super dope. That's super dope. Did you ever think, like, just growing up in the Memphis? What side? What side of town in Memphis? I was born in in South Memphis, but I was mostly raised in East Memphis. Okay, growing up, you know, what I'm saying South Memphis, raised in East Memphis. Did it bring you to Miami, Atlanta? What What's some of the cities you you travel to? You know what I'm saying, that you've been to? Since when? Since I started rapping? Yeah. We've been in New York, we've been to California, we've been to North Carolina, we've Damn. been here. Damn! We've been to uh, St. Louis, uh, we've been to Miami, we've been to a whole bunch of states, mostly. What's the love like once you hit those cities and states? What's the love like? It be good. It be, it be good. They like me. They always, you know, they be excited to see me and stuff, but the major place that I know that, you know, they really support me is Wisconsin. Like, every time I went... They just made me feel like so. Wisconsin? Yes. Like Milwaukee, Racine, Kenosha, Green Bay. Damn. They always make me feel like love, period. Like they, they fuck with me. So I fuck with Wisconsin. Wow. How would you describe your your style coming in the game? Would you would you say like I'm taking the Nikki approach, the Remy, or the Juicy? The Juicy. Basically. The Juicy. <laughs> now what's the Juicy approach? Like well, how would you describe your shit? What's the swag? It's like you got a mixture of like, for, okay, for example, you can say, I've heard the statement of people calling me the female Tupac. Mm. But on top of that, I can sing. So it's like the best of both worlds, basically. Oh. Like I can do anything. So you sing yeah. and rap. Yeah. Which one you prefer to do better? I like rapping more than I like singing. Like singing, I've, I'm, to be honest, I'm very shy when it comes down to singing and stuff. But as far as rapping, that shit is damn packed. So, so growing up, Juicy, who did you look up to? Growing up, the people that I looked up to was Lil Wayne. Uh, you have a rapper by the name of Flyboy Z. It's somebody that I'm, you know, associated with. He's not here no more. But he was my favorite rapper. He the one that introduced me to my manager that I deal with now, which is Lil 100. And other than him, you have Rihanna and Kevin Gates mm. and Drake. And that's it. Okay. I listened to Nikki too, like for a little minute. But okay. But then I just stopped. I don't know. <laughs> well, why you just you just said like, nah, I'm, I'm past that nah, level. Nah, cause uh, I think that was when she started making like the pop. Oh, the I pop. I like some one. of the stuff, but okay. it's like you know. Yeah, she left it and we're okay. Yeah, but I, I still I still fuck with her music. Though. Okay, okay. As far as like R R and B artists, were you ever into like Lauryn Hill, Alicia Keys, Aaliyah? I like Sade. Like that's how you say her name? Sade, I think I'm familiar yeah, with her. Sade, Sade um, R&B, okay, you said Sade, okay, so Sade, Rihanna, who else? Mary J. Blige. She dope, super dope. Yeah, uh, I think that's mostly it. Because Rihanna got me down pegged when it comes down to R&B. Like, I don't really even listen to nobody else like that. Yeah. That's what's up. Um, if you had to put your, your, your style in a category, would it say trap, drill? Bars, lyricism, or just plain hip hop, or it's just Memphis. With my talent, I don't think you can sum it up in one word. That's dope. <laughs> That's dope. That's dope. That's dope. Now, being from Memphis, going crazy rapping, you know what I'm saying, putting on for the Dirty South, I'm surprised God he ain't reach out to you. He has before. Wow. Wow. Can, can, can we share some light <laughs> on that? So, like, like this was years ago. It was uh, back in 20. Like 2014, 2015 type stuff. Uh, one of his producers had hit me on Instagram and he was like, Yeah, you hard. He was like, I got somebody I want to talk to you. So I got on the phone with Gotti. He talked to me. He was like, What's good, Shawty? I was like, Shit, nah, I'm just smiling the whole time. I was like, Man, nothing. Like, we out here rapping. And he was like, So you do this shit for real? I was like, Yeah. I was like, This how, you know, this how I eat. And he was like, Okay, well, we gonna see what we can do. He was like, you signed to anybody? I was like, no. But it was a little deal in there. And he was like, we gonna put you on probation for like three months. 
So with that being said, it was like it didn't sound like no money. Okay. So basically, I just. But it's still love for Gotti. Yeah, still of, got love. Oh, of course. I, I, I fuck with Gotti. Shout out your Gotti, man. <laughs> Shout out. Um, what about? Do you also fuck with other artists in Memphis, like you know the Dolphs, the Youngsters? I got a song with Dolph too. Dolph tried to get me too. Damn. Only problem is he didn't put my name on it, on the song that we did together. Oh yeah, I got a song with Black Youngster too. Damn. Yeah. So all the heavies in the city you rock with. What about Money the Bag Yo got a song with him? <laughs> so you 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 took the words right out of my mouth. So you yeah. already stamped the certified. Is it safe to say you're the only female in Memphis going crazy right now? No, I wouldn't say it's safe to say because it's a lot of females. The only thing is it's not like major recognition for them because it's like Memphis is just full with hate. It does. That's not, you know, that's not what I do. Like, any female that I done came across that raps from Memphis, I link up with her and I support her to the fullest. Because mm. I just want, you know, I want someone to notice us and not let everybody know, okay, it's just dudes doing it, females can do it too type stuff. That's what's up. And y'all also got K. Michelle from Memphis. Yeah. You Linked up with her too. I opened up, I opened up for her and one day out of the blue, no, one day out of the blue, she had found me on Instagram and she just commented on the one picture and she was like, I'm so in love with you. And after that, we kept in touch and then I wound up opening up for her. But I haven't seen her ever since I got with her. You know? Damn. Damn. Man, that's super dope. Super dope. Juicy fruit, man. You know, I just got back in town. I ain't, you know, I wasn't even aware that you was in, you know what I'm saying, in Chicago, in the city. You know, people from Instagram, Twitter, a few people from Snap. But Facebook, oh my God, they was blowing my inbox up. Yo, yo, Zach, you got to get what they tag me and shit. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, what's going on? You understand what I'm saying? I go to your page, I see 300 and some thousand followers. How the fuck you get to that? Like, how you get the clout like that on the book? <laughs> uh, it started off with Damn Right. That went viral. It was a video, like I was talking about my life story. And after that, it was like everything was just, you know, doing stuff. And then it was wishy-washy. Like it was it, and damn right was done in 2013. My fans ain't left me since. They stayed loyal. Like I've seen people that didn't, that didn't stuck with me. They didn't been following me since YouTube days, and that's when I was like 16 and pregnant, what, rapping in the mirror. Like mm. they didn't stuck with me that whole time. That's I crazy. support them. They made me exactly who I am. So it's so you wouldn't even call your Facebook friends fans. Would you call them like more supporters, family? Supporters. I, I call them support. I, when, I, when I see them and I pull up on them, because that's what I do, I sometimes go visit them. Get out of here. What? I didn't pull up on a girl out here in Chicago. Like two of them. You pulled up on your fans? I, pulled up, I didn't pull up in New Orleans. Nah, that one New Orleans. What was that? Baton Rouge. I pulled up in Baton Rouge. Uh, we pulled up in New York. We pulled up out here. We pulled up everywhere. If I'm in a city and a fan wants to see me, I pull up on them. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. Yeah. What's one of the biggest fan moments you ever had in your... Career. Shay, her name is Shay. We went to North Carolina. Her mama had talked to me over Facebook and she was like, my daughter loves you. She uh, got all your songs. She was like, her birthday coming up. So I was like, okay, I'm passing through. So we drove up and I walked to the pool and her back was turning. Her mama told her to turn around. She started crying. Just she just went wild. I, I loved it. It made me it made me kind of scared, but I loved it, though. And then she started rapping my song with me and all of that. Like, she was so happy. And I think right after that, she got my name tatted on her. What? She got my name tatted on her thigh. It's ain't Juicy Fruit. You serious? Yeah. She ain't the only one. Damn, Juicy. <laughs> you got that type of effect? That's crazy. Juicy Fruit. That's, that's, that's crazy. Now, for, for the, you, I, you know, I got to ask you, no disrespect. Yeah. But for the men out there, you know what I'm saying? Are you single or do you want to, because you know I saw all on your Instagram, oh my God, this and that, like, it, do you consider yourself like a sex symbol? Or no, I'm just an artist, don't look at me like you would look at a Nicki or Sex sales. So okay. I, I don't argue with it and neither do I agree with it, but sex sales. I mean, I'm not ugly, so <laughs> it's, okay. it's, it's neither here or there. Okay, okay. Do you be having trouble, you know what I'm saying, is it, is it tough trying to do business with male artists, but they looking in the wrong direction like yo let's do a feature and they're like nah let's go on a date it, it's it's harder when, like when you're trying to link up and try to do music with people because it's like they know you got talent but since you are attractive it, it kind of you know messes up everything but to say like most of the, the males that i have worked it with some of them have been like professional just straight on business and others have they'll do the business and then 
they'll be like, yeah, slap me, you know, you know, like that type wow. of stuff, and I'll just be like, you know. I ain't know that. I ain't know that. Okay, okay. I feel you. I feel you, man. Um, I want to hear some. I want to hear some. I want to. I want to hear how you coming, man. What's up? What you got for the people? What you? What you got? What, what's up? You got some bars? I got some bars, but hold on, though. Like. You know, I have to get it close up, man. The hair looking fire, juicy fruit, the tattoos, the piercing. What's what? You don't got no lipstick on? No, I don't have no lipstick on. Not today. Okay, but you do be, you know, posting that shit. The lipstick, right? Yes. Talk I about that. Lipstick. Uh, the name of it is called Dripping Diamonds. It's the lipstick that goes nowhere when you eat, drink, all of that. It stays on. You can go swimming with it on. It's, it's good. Where can these people purchase that at? At DrippingDiamonds.net. And also, they can purchase it at low100iam.com. Super dope, super dope, super dope. What's up? I want to hear some. How the fuck you coming, man? What's up, man? Where them, where them bars at, man? How you, how you coming? This is Zach TV. Okay, I'm going to do first day out. Okay, I want to hear some shit. Okay. Down right drop, that was five years ago. They was sleeping on my flow while I was sleeping on the flow. I talk about struggle because I done been there before. And I hustle because I'm scared of going broke. I show love, ain't no telling when the next to go. When they killed my son's father, he was in my arms. They tried to blame me because his blood was on my palms. Give my son everything but what them niggas took from him. Then they assassinated Z a couple months later. I remember speeding to the scene thinking we could save him. To the niggas who did it, how much that nigga pay you? You know it's murder, fuck a statue of limitations. Got at him and hit him, bullet almost hit his baby. But we ain't give a fuck, that shit be crazy. And we could have had them all in the same night. But G caught it out, said get money, do it right. Two years later, I'm still on papers for a charge that I took from my nigga. I'm a bitch, I see the pussy in niggas. Margaret, women, when you caught that yell for the rooms. When me and my kids were sleeping in that Chevy Cruise. AJ Red, remember when you had that photo shoot and Channel 5 came in the interview? Viewed me about cool, had shootouts with Vaughn. I'm in the back seat. Then that nigga showed up in court, man. I couldn't believe it. G, remember when Dow said he wouldn't fuck with me because of you? In the bread too, they all turn their backs. Now they hearing U turns. Ball in my hand. So bitches, whose turn? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know it's mine now. And you ain't gotta tell them, let them find out. When them ends got loose, I got them fall out. <laughs> You watch me start, don't go blind now. You see the signs now. Now I'm back, like a bad habit. With my shoes fast, and take them out the back of the caddy and put them in the casket. Fuck a man's package to make him go catch a taxi. Have you ever seen a savage really live lavish? Baby daddy said I won't go be shit for average. Now I told a nigga he can come handle my baggage. Killing them with every syllable, they make it minimum. I treat it like a miracle, they act like he invisible. They prayed on my downfall. Yeah, I probably fell, but I ain't never fall off. How the fuck they running shit with their heads off? They tell that bitch to stand down, cut her legs off. See the top is my territory, a block is mandatory. They giving you allegory, my shit from the laboratory. After the losses, after the crosses, I'm still making deposits. I'm with the bosses up in my office, so bitch stay in potty. I'm psychotic, there's nothing exotic, riding with narcotics and I'm solid. They switching the topic while I'm switching private. Rich gang shit, you can't campaign this. Not my first day out, but it's my first foot in. Oh, no. You going too crazy. You going too crazy. What's that was that was just fire off the first day out. Give me give, give me a little bit more bars. Give me uh, any Wait, one or old one. No, some some other. Give me another one. Go crazy. Cause you just went nuts. All that shit, you just in the Chevy crew, all that. That was dope. No. What shit, what else? I don't wanna do bad because it's like I be feeling stupid rapping it without the beat. Nah, go crazy. Just give me a, a, a few more bars off the bed of bougie. Okay, I ain't never had shit. Now, I'm a walking leak, juicy fruit. I'm that bitch coming from that Miffy T. Certified and legit. Say they love the way I speak. I'm just working the work in the wrist. I got that perp in the surf in the twin. Addicted to the money, I'm an addict. Tell them broke bitches catch the habit. I'm at the top, you find me in the attic. They ain't ready. I got baby boy, I had to get it. Fuck up a ticket, yeah, I had to spend. I got plenty, plenty. I got many, many. When I'm in your city, show me pretty titties. They bad and they bougie. Uh, thick in the booty like Judy. Uh, my diamonds are dancing, nigga. Uh, this one I look like no rubies. Pulling out the Uzi. Now they want to cool it. Pulling out the Draco. Now they want to cool it. Yeah, they head stupid, but that bitch ratchet. Had you broke saying you the baddest. Bank account empty. Tell me who you texting. Bitch, why you lying? Yeah, I seen the status. You with them maggots or you with the smashing? You with that acting or you with the action? Hold on, that way. Tell little baby come this way. Uh, hold on, that way. Tell them bro niggas stay the fuck away. Now they piss, no lemonade. Damn, baby, don't you wanna get your rent paid? Then you better listen to sis say you can get left like Kanye or right with Jesus. Little one, honey. Hey. Love, it's all love. Let the people know where they can go to follow you on these social media sites. Um, you can follow me on Facebook, Terika Alexander. I do have a fan page at the name of Juicy Fruit. 
and you spell it J-U-C-E-E-F-R-O-O-T. As far as my Instagram, it's I am Juicy Fruit. Juicy Fruit spelled the same way. Snapchat, Juicy Mo Fruit, J-U-C-E-E-M-O-F-R-O-O-T. YouTube channel is uh, Juicy World TV. Mmm, Juicy World TV. Uh, which one you be on out of all the social sites? Which one you be on the most? The one I be on the most is Facebook because that's where most of my, my fans, you know, show me my love and stuff. Okay, that's what's up. We appreciate you. Shout out to Zach TV one time. Man, shout out to Zach TV. You know this shit was lit, man. I'm a and, this, and let the people know this is your very first interview, right? <laughs> yes, this is my very first interview with Zach TV. That's super dope, man. Love, I appreciate you, sis. One. All right.